Oh, this is Disappointed Frog, and today, me and my friend B are playing Ace Attorney after eight months of the first recording. In the time that it took us to record this for a second time, Valve came out with a new game. Valve makes games. We finished the first chapter, we're in the second chapter. April May is back on her bullshit. Which save is it? This one. This one. 8-1? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! <gasps> Edgeworth! Oh God. Prosecutor, Edgeworth! I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Huh? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? Phoenix. Everyone is in Mr. White's pocket. That's the whole point of this game. So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story? Bruh. Look at his face. He- he kinda angry. Look though. at his eye. It's Rawr. <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Even if that means shooting you in court. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. Why do are you being so edgy? Is that why your name's Edgeworth? <laughs> not only that, what makes him think that White is not the one lying? He's Make just... it make sense. He's literally just obsessed with winning. He's a psychopath. <laughs> There's no way to tell- There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I'll make that my policy. <laughs> that's, his new, that's his new voice, I guess. Edgeworth. You've changed. Huh? They used to be lovers. I don't know. What? <laughs> Phoenix, you know him? <laughs> Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix rat. Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? Wait! Tell me about your gay love affair. <laughs> Not now, Maya. <laughs> your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Good God. I'm glad that Miles Edgeworth is now a sweet little country bumpkin. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, my man, I missed you. Um, <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we'll hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. We're having a country battle here. <laughs> the prosecution may call its witness. Phoenix Wright is actually set place in Athena, Tennessee. Or whatever that place. <laughs> wherever the Parthenon is in Tennessee. Oh, let me look it up. It's in Nashville. Oh, Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know why I thought it was an Athena. That's the god. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> that went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like- It's like he already knows why! Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Raise an objection, you think? Sure. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. He is shook. He is shocked. He is scared for his life. <laughs> he is scared for his life. They threatened my man. Don't bow, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I hate him. I know. Great. He gets to show up and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. God, you're... 
shiny You're voicing ass everyone. I know. Please state your full name. <laughs> you wish to know the title of my personage. <laughs> oh my god. Er, uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locush- What the fuck does that word- Locutions confuse? Nime. These two are great together. They should kiss. Phoenix is getting jealous. He's the yeah. jealous, jealous ex-boyfriend. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. White boy? Why does it just say white boy? Quirk up white boy with a little bit of swag. <laughs> That's exactly what he is. Look at him. Yep. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Maya Fay? Fuck, that was Mia Fay. Edgeworth looks so fucking done, by the way. Like, did you see his face just now? Yeah. He's literally just, like, begging to be shot. Oh, no. That would be a negatory. No, I did not. He's so done! He's it's, so this is the perfect meme! Just, oh. bruh. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem. Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Flat. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? I don't know. Maybe if you got a better haircut. <laughs> you kind of look like a hedgehog, my guy. Sonic! Yeah, Sonic's dead. Sonic's so is dead! I hope you have made peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Whoa. Whoa! Let him have it, Phoenix. Witness testimony. Witness his account. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking the woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave her a chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then, it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Bruh. Very well, defendant. Or, I mean, Mr. Rat, your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Uh, I saw a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Yeah. Needs to say that man was none other than you. I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave her chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction, then it was all over. They they stayed in the same room. Did he chase her around the same room? Yeah, so like, cause like, the, she ran over, she died like here. Right? Yeah. But like, all this shit is knocked over. Oh, okay. So but... like, she might have went. Yeah, cause like, ran away. Seems like she ran like, out of the room. So this one? Yeah. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm what not the having fuck? it. The little sparkles are not, not what doing is, it for me. What the hell? <laughs> As you know, I'm always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. And to the left, wait. Is that the left? Yeah, that's the left. <laughs> On today's episode, Disappointed Frog learns the difference oh. between left and right. Oh, um, April said- April didn't say left. Oh, April didn't say left, okay. You- you- you should have April's testimony. Yeah, that yeah. one. Present it? Yeah, because she ran to the oh, right. Oh, yeah, ran to the right. Okay. Objection! Wait right there, Mr. White. You've dug your own grave. Damn. 
What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran to the right. Huh? Oh, it's simple. You must have misheard her. What do you mean? I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. The victim ran to the left, as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? What is that face? <laughs> He's horrified. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left? Because he was in it the was pit. It was his left. He killed her. It was his it left. It was his left. Oh my god. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Rat. Yes, your honor. Ms. May says rat and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both, Both are, are right. right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. God damn. <laughs> ha, I doubt it. Er, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <gasps> oh my god, look at the holy shit. They're mumbling. They're mumbling. Mr. Frat, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? And I can't park here because it's illegal. If he was not in the hotel, where would he have been? In the law offices of Faye and Co., of course. Duh. Oh, Damn. More specifically, he was standing here. You gotta pick the K. Oh, I had to use dub. You have to use WASD for this part. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? Everything is using either tab caps lock or shift, and then backspace on the other side, or WASD. What is this game? I don't know. I think it was made for controller. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Take that! This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Oh my god, Miles, oh, yeah. you're connecting things together. <gasps> order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Damn it. Mr. Rat, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion. The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, your honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Oh my god, like the Pokemon? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear. And for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? That's not how court works! Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. God, we could literally get away with so much killing in Phoenix Wright World. Yeah, nah, for we real. We just have to have a be... solid testimony. Yeah, for real. Good luck, you can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Witness testimony. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her, savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. Like the Cupid Shuffle, you chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No, because I didn't do it. Hum. That does seem to make sense. No, it Jesus doesn't. Jesus Christ. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? Yeah, because she only has one blunt fo Like, she has only one hit on her skull. Yeah, you just give the autopsy. <laughs> you bet I will. I mean, yes, your honor. Uh, OBJECTION! Mr. White, 
The victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Ugh. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. So is the judge, but we're not going to talk about that. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Ah, uh, yes, yes, quiet. The witness is confused because he's lying. I... Emphatically. Thank... I'm so glad so I made major in English. I can read, can't speak. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. We want justice! The court is just like a fucking basketball court of people, like, <laughs> losing their shit. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, Mr. White. Mr. White? Oh, okay. I'm going to jail! Witness testimony. The two accounts. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window, and then I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Miss Mio run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did it with a single blow. Thwomp. <laughs> um, thwomp indeed. Oh, wait, no, that's not the point. <laughs> I'm trying. Farewell. You may begin the cross-examination. He's getting so tired with our shit. He's gonna, like, he's gonna die soon, I think. <laughs> Do you think that he's gonna be, like, the next murder victim? Maybe. Like... <laughs> Your honor. My stomach, you see, it's hurting. My tummy hurts. My tummy hurts. Deal with it. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Deal with it, the glasses. <laughs> the horrid bitch. This is almost over. You're going to jail. He looks so sad. Cross examination, the two accounts. Alright. What fell, bitch? You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that. Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd, just like your bowling pin hair. <laughs> yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. <laughs> Mr. White? Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. This man has never been humbled in his entire life and is He's like... <laughs> He's literally shaking and crying He's right now. He's shaking and crying. The witness will revise his testimony. I love that you make all of his W's have an H in there. <laughs> witness. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Of course. Uh, was lying on the floor when I looked. I uh, ran to the left to kill you. Blah blah blah. But you dodged. Blah blah blah. Last shards. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Oh. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have had no idea it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it that you saw the light stand? Answer the question. Uh, isn't it obvious I saw the stand before it fell over? So, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked, then? Correct. That, that would be no problemo, right? Hmm. Um, big problemo. Big problemo. How did you see it? There's a big problemo. Er, I mean, problem here. What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. 
you saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct, that is so. It is conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand, dumbass. <laughs> They're all like, oh shit, Phoenix is going out at it. What? Why couldn't he? You have proof? I sure do, your honor. A person at the hotel could have not seen the stand before it fell over. Do I just present the, the map? Plan. Yeah. Look at this. It's a blank photo. <laughs> Look at this gray photo. Look at this photograph. <laughs> These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Mm-hmm. Correct, your honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, ridic ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could have not seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Uh, holy Whoa. shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, Mom. Come pick me up, bro. Uh, uh Mr. Mr. What? Bro, he's gonna turn into a fucking zombie. Mr. White, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdicts. Oh, That's far oh enough, God. Phoenix Rat. What? Oh, I forgot he was here. <laughs> Mr. White. I'm <laughs> sobbing. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? Wh what? I said you should confess your crime, ergo. Confess that you placed the wiretap. Fuck oh, off! He's my gonna- my god. He's gonna fucking s shift the story. The wiretap? Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean mean by this. <laughs> I, what do you mean, Edgeworth? Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused, just like our judge. Allow me <laughs> to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss M Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss uh, Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Oh. <gasps> Huh. Correct. You are most correct, Miles. We're on first name basis now. Give Good me a God. break. Yes, in order to place with the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what this all means, Mr. Edgeworth. You're always confused, bro. This isn't I'm new for sorry. you. I'm old! Gladly, your honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright had made his position quite clear. He had determined that Mr. White knew of the glass stand was in the office. 
He had shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to believe... No, fuck. Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. No, because April placed it. That was literally Did in her she? testimony. Yeah. Oh, okay. He literally said that like 10 seconds ago. He was like, ergo, yeah. Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed. Baseless conjecture, it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretap and... Oh, what fuck What is with off. your sparkly fucking head ass? He's from Twilight. He's one of the Carlisles. <laughs> His brother is the whatever... That one bitch, Michael Sheen. I think that's the actor's name. Ahem. Leave it to me. I... I feel faint. Knees weak. Arms weak. Mom's spaghetti. I don't know how that song goes. Witness testimony. The wire tapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay & Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw the glass light stand. Um, so you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound? Correct, that is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Ugh, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. I ain't helping. Cross-examination, the wiretapping. Okay, so it's either... Because April placed it. He didn't. Yeah. But then also, wasn't the wiretap in the other room? So what should we question him on? Um... That he placed the wiretap? Because I think it was April who did. Yeah. God. Yeah, press him on that. Hold it! Why did you tap Mia's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, your honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. You're literally going to jail. Like, do the beginning of September. Do you remember what you <laughs> did <laughs> in September? Do you have proof? Hmm? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Shit on a biscuit buttered in April. Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh. Right. Uh. Hold it. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? Objection. Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay & Co. law offices. It's a law office! People go Bruh. in there all the time! Those were obviously Mr. White's bullshit! And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those fingerprints. Damn it, there's nothing for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Should I ask the light stand? Yeah. Okay. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a butatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there is nothing for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's right enough that I can bluff something out of him. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh oh, don't tell me I ran out of ammo. Tisk tisk, I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Rat. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. Barely. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Rat, are you giving up? Y yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Huh? Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. M Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. You're dead! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, what are you doing here? I killed you! Oh, wait, I should have said that in court. No, I'm kidding. Huh? Mia? 
The Phoenix is dead too! Where? Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Fuck, maybe not. <laughs> Shit, I'm still hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Ah. Oh, I'm I'm out again. <laughs> hey, Phoenix. Uh. Get your ass up. Gok, that's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Open your fucking eyes. <laughs> look how cute I am. Oh. Oh. Oh! Um. Did she just, like, unzip her shirt and then draw a mole on her face? Uh. Your. M Maya. Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with the vibes we have created in the studio today. I am very uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya ch is channeling you, Mia? That's right, I am Maya, but I am also Mia, <laughs> because this makes sense. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix, with your ears. <laughs> Maya never gave up. You can't either. Maya did give up. She fucking died. That's that's like the most giving up you could do. Mia died, Carmen. Mm. <laughs> One of them fucking died. That's what I came here to tell you. Huh? B but we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen to me. You've already won. Huh? I'm getting the electric car chair in like 20 minutes. You have that receipt in the court record, right? I do. Um, oh, yeah, the one you wrote Maya on with blood? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. Holy shit. <laughs> so, what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt, idiot. <laughs> Flip it over. <laughs> the front? You mean like where everything's written? It's a, a regular receipt. There's a date. It looks like it's from a famous department store. $1,000. Wow. Big spender. Who is spending $1,000 on a lamp? <laughs> is it for the lamp? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Damn. Item. Glass light stand. Date of purchase. September 4th. <gasps> September 4? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. You bought it? A thousand dollars, bitch? Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? Um, it was the beginning of sem September. Do you remember? Do you remember? He said he oh. saw the stand a week before the murder! There you go. Holy shit. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent, now you just have to prove it. Right. <laughs> Receipt updated. It literally Phoenix has his like little kit and he just flips it over and sets it back down in this little Mia, briefcase. Mia came back from the dead to tell Phoenix to flip over a fucking receipt, guys. <laughs> what a fucking time. What a time. September 9th, 1.16 p.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Rat. Is the defendant rather- Are you alright, Mr. Rat? Yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. This bitch. Oh, God. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant Phoenix Rat. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last alt time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Big mistake, bitch! You southern fucking bumpkin! Very well. You may begin with your cross-examination. Okay, so now we have the receipt. Read this, bitch! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Why, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? <laughs> Why does no one understand how receipts work? Your Honor... <laughs> Would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. He can't read. <laughs> My eyes are closed. Well. 
a glass light stand and the day to purchase why that's the day before the murder oh <gasps> you see mr white when you allegedly entered Fay and co law offices at the beginning of september the stand could not have been there holy shit <laughs> well mr white can't get out of this one can you no it's impossible achievable uh oh he's losing it uh well your honor i understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you but i think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances damn <laughs> he's like mr white has my wife and kids in a basement <laughs> please mr white uh. please you gotta stop well very well then that is all for the trial of uh miles not so fast phoenix rat uh what no way can he worm his way out of this one oh wait i forgore it's edgeworth <laughs> there is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Rat is innocent. What? Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Rat is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Um, another inquiry? This isn't gonna be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object. Object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Um, well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone is gonna call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. I'll give you an ascertain, Mr. Edgeworth. God, hmm, I see. Objection denied. Oh, fuck. What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Rat will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up and helped me and all. Fucking sparkly bitch. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? No. Bruh. <laughs> oh, the witness will stay. M Mia. Phoenix. Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Read it. What the fuck? Memo received from Mia. Your honor, if I may? You're quite persistent today, Mr. Frat. Bro, if I don't win this case, I'm going in the fucking electrical chair. Of course I'm persistent. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something that I would like to read to the court. Take that. Take that. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please, stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now, bitch. Or else this list will be released to the press. Ugh. Oh, he's dead. I... I confess. I confess! I... I did it, I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with... The Thinker. That fucking clock. I clock. hardly know her. I hardly know her! Case closed, your honor. <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. Frat. Yes, your honor? You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, your honor. I guess you could say that, if only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem. Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Rat. Not guilty. Whoa! We did- This looks confetti! Whoa! That is all. This court is adjourned. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. I'm still very uncomfortable. <coughs> well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I didn't really help you. You fucking...
fucking died. Rip. I won't forget it as long as I live. <laughs> as long as you live? <laughs> Awkward silence. Uh, my time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief! <laughs> I'm not- I'm not the chief anymore. I'm six feet fucking under, Phoenix. Phoenix? Uh, can you come to the office tonight, say at nine? Isn't this what happened last time when I found your dead fucking corpse? <laughs> the office? I'll see you later. Chief. Mia. September 9th, 9.02pm, Faye and Co. Law Offices. He's fucking late. Bitch. <laughs> Being here, it's hard not to think about- that night. It's only been like four days. No shit, Phoenix. You came. Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Simp. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? Wah <laughs> you should see your face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya? Headass. <laughs> Bullpin headass! What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm. I might be able to use that. What? Uh, oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. She also lives here now. <laughs> this is my home. This is my home. I sleep on that couch. <laughs> See, Mia wrote me a letter. It's not in blood this time. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? It means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? Aww, it's not Faye & Co. anymore. <laughs> Rip. And who would be better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty? What, so you're just gonna be the fucking secretary? Wait, no. On second to thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Maya here. Ready to get down to business. <laughs> you really keeping up and at him with those teens? I lived on a mountain. <laughs> You, you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? This is not, not, How no. does Phoenix turn into Nick? I guess. Phoenix. <laughs> it's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls Yeah, him. and Larry's delusional. <laughs> Nick? You know what this means? We're partners. This is illegal. <laughs> this is illegal, no! <laughs> you know, when I really think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But... Bitch. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. <laughs> right in Co. Law Offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Oh, Ghost. <laughs> good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Creepily. <laughs> right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. It's always burgers. Come on, time's a-wasting. Who's getting burgers at 9 p.m.? Amer- Japanese people think American are. Americans are. Uh, okay, wait up. Why the fuck are you and... going on a date with my sister, Phoenix? Nah, the sister just wants free food. I mean, Slay. Oh. A brand new episode has been added. Goddamn. That's it for this video. Thank you. Woo. Woo, we solved it. It only yeah, took- Yeah, we did it. It only took eight months. But we Only. solved it. Thank you all for watching. I may be a disappointed frog, but I'm not disappointed in you. Bye. Bye. Bye.